last. This to you, Nalia, the Palace of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace. Gel's headquarters. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated than you. Oh, who's this? And why are they here? I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crivan Spain, at Coman Maca and the Witcher of Rivia. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Grievan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Got any vodka? Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting you don't touch that filth, disgraceful as it is. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite a surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. No. But honesty is not a facet of your species, so quit spewing bile won't gain you anything. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me, so I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. Even a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Better believe it. This way, please. Witcher Geralt. A true man of action. Might I know where we're going? To the world of the Enshea. Directly this time. Let's go before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Tsirayo. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Oneromancer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? and proclaim Avalach our new king. Don't flatter yourself. Defy Eredin. That's all you need to do. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not?
You must face him on your terms. In this world. In a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalok knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. Can never be too careful. Agree. Yet I do believe Gels will keep his word, withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Ondvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat. But we will accomplish it. Gather everyone and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What of Fringilla? That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature.
I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. How's Rita now? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. Ooh. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. That settles the question of His Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows! Those are my friends! He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillian. Yet she spurned him. Ahem. <laughs> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillian a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillian's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. 
Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Emir's mages, of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject, one officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say... The white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised, and what he'll get in return. I'm off. Good luck. A lot. Yes, Geralt? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Charming world you and Elle have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute? Painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers. And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder NJ elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Tell me something more about Karanthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I... brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. 
golden child who grew up to be a criminal. You imprisoned Siri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human, a ward, a daughter even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. So long. Geralt? Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me, trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. What did Aridin want from you exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with them. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Eredin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. <laughs> I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did, and if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me? After you'd recovered your memory and your freedom. I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Still can't get something out of my mind. What? Yen, can we talk? Why? So you can ask me if we can remain friends despite all? No, I... I mean... Come now, Geralt. I know you. Well enough to know exactly what's going on with you and Triss. Now, I cannot say I'm not tempted to... Hmm... Intervene, but... I believe I'll let it lie this time. How about that? You came here to fumble your way through an explanation, yet instead of enjoying the show, I went and did your job for you. Seems so. But now, enough of this maudlin business. 
We've something to do, remember? Thanks, Yen. See you later. <coughs> yes, Geralt? So, there you were in Putrid Grove, and out of nowhere I show up. What did you think? Honestly? Oh, no, not him again. <laughs> Figured as much. You weren't easy to find, you know. You'd recovered your memory, found Yennefer, so... naturally... I thought the two of you had... But it turned out my amnesia changed nothing. Wanted to be with you, before, during, after, always. I know that now. So long, Triss. Got a minute? Of course. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. Hmm. <laughs> Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. So why'd you return? <laughs> it was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's... Nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalach claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please, whenever I please. Not sure if you've heard, but once it's all over, I'm going to Kovir. With Triss? Mm-hmm. Interesting part of the world. Perhaps we'll get a contract for some rare snow beast. A Babagazi, or a Vendigo, or a, a, an Amarok? Or maybe I'll finally hang up my swords. <laughs> it's that good with her? Better. Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. <laughs>